All right, now we're exiting the equation. Reality of it is, a lot of times in equation, if you're in a uh, ring fight, it's just going to be broken up. You're going to be locked up, and it'll be broken up for lack of activity. But there is potentials where you may want to disengage on your own. And what's important here is that we don't just try to step out. Because the position we would be in if we just step right out, we're stepping out into the power band of a number of different strikes. Because reality speaking, I can get knee and elbow, I can get straight punch, I can get kick. There is no real safe zone until I go from about here all the way out to here. And that's a lot of ground to cover in one spot. So instead of exiting straight out, we're going to make a little bit of a turning mode. So I can step in, I can turn, and then I can exit. Basically trying to throw him out into a little bit of an off-balance position where we can now all of a sudden, we are at that longer distance. He's not leaving it here. I'm kind of taking him out of it with a little bit of a movement. So we cover this movement in other parts of the course, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm stepping in, getting close, and now I can start to manipulate his center of gravity because we kind of occupy the same place. So if I'm kind of pulling him in through here, but then disengaging. In some other cases, we have pull, stay connected, and hit. Pull, stay connected, and sweep. But in this case, we're pull, twist, and then just let them go. Fire him out, get some distance, and now we basically effectively change the range without as much threat of counter strike. So that's the goal.